Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another record to play for you. Today's record is Wonder Woman versus The War God from 1976. So let's get started. city of New York stands a magnificent complex of stone and glass buildings, the headquarters of the United Nations, where Diana Prince, secretly Wonder Woman, enters on the ground floor on her way to her job at the International Organization's Crisis Bureau. Good morning, Miss Prince. It looks like rain, no? Hi, Tommy. I'll wait and see on that rain before I commit myself. <laughs> <laughs> You've been hanging out with diplomats too long, Miss Prince. Hey, they never commit them. Uh-oh, trouble. Dead man coming in. Hey, excuse me, General. What is the meaning of this? Where did that buzzer come from? That's the metal detector concealed in the doorway, sir. I'm afraid you're carrying some large metal object, and I'm going to have to search you if you don't... Uh... I certainly do mind. I'm a brigadier general in the United States Army with an important appointment to see the secretary general. Now, if you will excuse me... You'll remember that this building stands on international property, general, and that bulge under your coat, a pistol. I'll take that. Get your hands off me. Of course it's a pistol. I'm a general, and generals carry pistols if they so desire. Well, I don't know about that, General. I look at it after the scene well, is getting oh, ugly. Oh, Probably my signal to duck into that empty oh, corridor. I absolutely must see the Secretary General or a terrible international incident will erupt. Then you'll see him without that. Well, it looks as though you get your wish, sir. Here comes the Secretary General down the corridor now. You, General, put away that gun. Hey, you're no general. You're, you're an assassin. Wonder Woman, I expected you to show up, but you won't deflect my next shot. What is going on here? Mr. Secretary General, find some cover. An assassination attempt. Great, Wonder Woman. You kicked the gun away. I got it now. You've got the gun, but you won't get me. Amazon mistress, an immeasurably powerful invisible plane zooms down from the sky, hovers briefly above her, dropping the rope ladder. I've got the ladder. Now climb, robot plane. Follow the flying man. And the supersonic chases on through the skies over New York. That so-called general is not even an ordinary assassin. He's already moving at nearly three times the speed of sound and accelerating. Welcome, my princess. How pleasant to see you again. Goddesses, preserve me. Mars, the god of war. Where in the cosmos am I? The cosmos is quite correct, Princess Diana. For once, you were tricked into traveling at eight times the speed of sound, chasing the general I created, making it possible to bring you crashing here through a dimensional window into another universe. Another universe? Why? What's that you're doing with your sword? It's flaming. I am sealing off the dimensional window, closing the hole in the fabric of the cosmos like a scar. So I can't get back. But what does the high and mighty god of war want with a mere Amazon woman? Not a mere Amazon princess. You underestimate yourself. You are the only thing that the United Nations capable of keeping my general and my other three agents who have infiltrated the Security Council from killing the chiefs of certain key delegations. Infiltrated the Security Council? Merciful Minerva! I will allow you to go home soon, Wonder Woman, to a world at war. <laughs> I'll reopen that dimensional window or... I tried to leap up at you with all my Amazon strength, but that sound in my head sent me flying in the other direction. <laughs> Try again, princess. I tried to whip my arms around to make an air current, throw you off balance and out of the way, but it only drove me down into the ground. You are in another universe, Wonder Woman, where the dominating force is sound. The physical laws that give you your powers do not hold here. <laughs> Sound? Then I'll yell at the top. 
top of my lung. <laughs> you can't even focus the energies of your own body. How can you hope to topple the god of war against his will? <laughs> Hera, help me. I'll try, Wonder Woman. Who's that? It's Hera, queen of the goddesses. You called and I answer. Mars cannot hear me. Only you. Giving up, Wonder Woman? Save your strength for the Great War. A war that will feed my power and make Mars supreme among the gods. There is a power I can give you that may defeat Mars. What power? The power to conjure images. If you throw symbols at him that anger him enough, he will bring his sword down on you in rage. Then if you can block the sword with your magic bracelets, that will harness enough power to rip open the dimensional window. The Security Council session is beginning, Princess. Care to watch? Power mad, despotic male. I say this to you. Taking Hera's advice, Wonder Woman conjures up the universal symbol of peace. What? A dove? You conjure a bird of peace to fly at me? Here is my answer. Oh, a hawk to kill the dove. Then what is your answer to this? When the wrestler... One of those peace-loving folk singers. Uh, let her contend with this. The honor of it, please. The honor of it, please. The honor of You play rough. Then take the sounds of Woodstock. The Civil Rights March on Washington. The sermon on the mount. Enough of you and your silly game. Now you will know that the power of war is greater than the power of peace. And I will prove it with a single swing of my sword. As the god of war swings his mighty sword, Wonder Woman blocks the blow with her magic bracelets, harnessing enough power to slash open the dimensional window back into this universe. And in microseconds, she is back in the United Nations. Made it. But I must get to the Security Council chamber before it's too late. Oh, help me, Hera, help me! Diana, this is Hera. You will be able to find the four assassins because they will be glowing with the glow only you can see. Be fleet of foot and strong of heart, Diana. Oh, thank you, Queen of Goddesses. Thank you. Throwing open the door to the chamber, Wonder Woman enters, and instantly her keen eye catches sight of a figure of a man standing in the back of the hall. And the chair recognizes the representative of the people's you, republic. You! Over there! The man with the broom! With one mighty leap, Wonder Woman reaches the disguised assassin and grabs the broom out of his hand. Wonder Woman, unhand that poor custodian! He's no custodian, Mr. Chairman. Here, this broom handle has a concealed dark gun. And there, look out! The fake general! You'll never take me! section 40 feet over the meeting chamber, Wonder Woman ceases the phony reporter. You can't hide now. You can't even run. Oh, my neck. I got my neck. Your weapons first. Where are your assassination weapons? In, in my pants. Just what I thought. A hidden hypodermic needle. Now for assassin number four. Who could it? There. That camera. Leaping down into the hall again, Wonder Woman confronts the last of the would-be assassins and ceases his camera. This camera holds enough poison to see him to drop every single delegate in this hall. Someone call UN security to pick up these four. Hey, where did they go? They vanished. All four assassins just disappeared into thin air. Impossible. Where could they have... Hera? Oh, Hera, help me. Look up there. A woman, a beautiful woman, floating in the air over the chamber. Women and men of the United Nations. My child, Wonder Woman, has done well. She has averted a horrible war on Earth, as we of Olympus have dealt with its cause on high, the evil god of war. Then you have captured Mars, great Hera. Yes, and forced him to recall his four agents, 
we have imprisoned the Lord of War in another world of the cosmos, from which even he cannot escape. Your Earth is safe from his forces through your efforts, Diana, along with our own. Thank you, Mother Hera. Carry on, my children, and go in peace. So that was Wonder Woman versus the War God from 1976. So please like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. We'll have another video coming out real soon.